Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manuals for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 64. Please turn to it. Page number 64 and today is our lesson number 15. There are practice problems that you see there at the bottom of the page, three of them. Those are the ones we are going to do. Practice questions as they call them, practice problems. Number one, it says what is four and a quarter percent of 200? What is four and a quarter percent of 200? To which my answer would be, well, how the hell do I know? Give me a freaking calculator and I'll tell you. Unfortunately, you do not have an access to a bloody calculator. We have to do it manually. So let's do it, shall we? If you've been watching these videos, uh, if you if you watched yesterday's videos and the day before yesterday's video, I should not actually say you, if you have been watching these videos, as I have reminded you several times in the past, I take it for granted that you've been watching these videos in their proper se in its proper sequence. You must watch all of them in the sequence because I assume certain things that you have learned in the past from the previous videos, and I just take it for granted. In the past, we learned how to convert a sentence such as this one and into, into an equation, into a correct equation, quickly, efficiently, by translating one word at a time, one word of the equation, one word of the sentence at a time. Let's do this, shall we? What is our unknown quantity? And the tradition dictates that we represent the unknown quantity with letter X. It's just a tradition. It's just a convention. It doesn't matter if you use letter Y or P or Q or S. Do you understand? So what is the unknown quantity? Is means equal. We learned all of this thing last few days. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. What does percent mean? Percent means exactly what it says. Percent means per 100. Percent means per 100. Or out of 100 percent literally means out of 100 or over 100. So four and a quarter percent. Percent is going to mean over 100. What does off mean? We learn all of this thing as I, as I already told you several times. Off means times or multiply. 200. That's it, we're done. All you have to do now is solve for x, which is very easy. You will see it in a second. It is very, very easy. Divide top and bottom by 100, and we can knock out this 100, and these two drops drop out. And x, the unknown quantity, is simply 2 times, you see, 2 times this quantity, 4 and a quarter. So here we go. What is 2 times 4? What well, 2 times 4 is 8. And how much do you suppose are 2 quarters? If I give you 2 quarters, how much money do you have? Well, you have half a dollar. If you have a quarter of a pizza, and if I give you another quarter of a pizza, well, you've got half a pizza. Two quarters make a half. Everybody knows that. That's what it is. Two quarters. Two times a quarter is half. There you go. That's your answer. So it's eight and a half. Well, that's our final answer. Eight and a half. The answer is eight and a half. The question was, what is four and a quarter percent of 100? The answer is, is eight and a half. That's all. It's very simple. Now, all the way, that we could have looked at this thing. There are actually a couple of more, uh, couple of more approaches. Actually, I'm just going to discuss one right now. On the way that we could have approached the bloody thing is this way. Okay. Let me do it right here. Let me do it right here. Can you tell me how much is three percent of one hundred? Well, that's a very silly question. Three percent of one hundred is three. Everybody knows that. Can you tell me what is seven percent of one hundred? Well, seven percent of one hundred is seven. You know that. Can you tell me how much is 4% of 100. Well, 4% of 100 is 4. Can you tell me how much is 4 and a quarter percent of 400? Well, 4 and a quarter percent of 100 should be 4 and a quarter. Are you with me? Well, if 4 and a quarter percent of 100 is 4 and a quarter, then it stands to reason that 4 and a quarter percent of 200 
of 200 should be twice as much. Voila! Which is exactly what we have here. 2 times 4, 4 and a quarter. So there are, there are a couple of other, uh, well no, I should say there are a couple of, couple of ways of looking at it. There are actually several different ways of looking at it. It's just a situation and just like in the real life, if you put several people in a room, you will not get one perspective. There are several different ways, several different perspectives of looking at the thing. That's what it is. There is not just one right way or wrong way. You can solve it any way you like. So this is one way, this is another way. There was another way I was, I was going to discuss with you right now, but let's not, let's not go there. Number two. Number two. Okay, I'll give you a second to absorb this thing while I absorb my tea. Number two. Number two says what percent of twenty five is five? What percent of twenty five is five? Which is the exact same thing as asking five is what percent of twenty five? I hope you are able to see that. It's just a playing with the words, playing with the language, just to just to see if you just if you're alert. What percent of 25 is 5? This is the exact same thing as saying what percent of 25 is 5, which is the same as saying 5 is 25 of 5 is what percent of 25? Well we know we know 5 is a fifth of 25. Everybody knows that. And we also know that a fifth of anything. A fifth of any number, a fifth of anything, is 20%. We know that a fifth, a fifth we learned it a few days ago in our percentage table, when we learned the fifth. A fifth is just 20% because a fifth can be written as, multiply top and bottom by 2 and it can be written as 2 over 10. 1 over 5 is the same as 2 over 10 which is 20%. So the change, since, since the change here is a fifth, is 20% change. It's a 20% change. That was it. Number two. Number three. Let me quickly take a second here to tell you the day actually. Even though I keep telling you that you should watch them in sequence, but I'm not sure if anybody pays any attention to me. It was day number eight, which is where we learned the tenth and the fifth. And day number nine is where we learned the quarter, the eighth, and the third, and the sixth. You know, you must know these concepts, you must know these quantities by heart. One more time, the tenth, the fifth, the quarter, the eighth, and the sixth. And we learn all of this thing with day number eight and nine. Also, before I forget it, if you want to have more practice problems for the percentage, just to get a little bit better at it, these are the videos that are there on the blackboard that you can use, uh, that you can watch uh, to get some more practice. Just type in this tag, revise GRE math day 84, 85, 86, all the way up to 93. There are 10 of them. Also day number 293 and again revised GRE math day 302, 303, 304 and 305. So there are 15 videos there that you can watch and there's plenty of practice. Let's do one more. Number three. Well, it's not that let's do one more. That's what we have to do. There is one more on the page. Number three. Let's see what this has to say. An amount of 50 decreases by 5. What is the percentage decrease? This is what I call, well actually I don't know what this is called because I forgot the expression. Mountain, uh, something to do with mountain in a molehill, I don't know how the expression goes. Which, which, which translates to making a big freaking deal out of the whole thing. Question here is, an amount of 50 decreases by 5, what's the percentage decrease? Well, 5 is just a tenth of 50 for crying out loud. 5 is a tenth of 50. And again, tenth of anything, tenth of anything 
equals 10%. It's a drop of 10%, of course, because you drop by 5, and 5 is 10% of 50. So what's the drop here? The drop here in percentage is a drop of drop of 10%. It's a drop of 10%, or you say, or this is one way to say it, it's a drop of 10%, or we say that the percentage change is negative 10. Okay, the change is negative 10%. Don't say a drop of negative 10%, that's redundant. We are done. Tomorrow, let's see what we'll do tomorrow. Well, tomorrow we'll talk about converting, converting fractions into decimals, and decimals into fractions, and all that fun stuff. Do you understand? Bye now.